What's up everyone, Jordan here from HardcoreMixing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I would EQ and compress a lead guitar track to get it to poke through the mix and cut through the rhythm guitars and everything else and really just kind of soar on top of the mix. So I'm gonna play the little section that I'm going to, uh, to work on here just so you can hear what the end result sounds like. All right, so you can hear how, hear how that's really right up in your face and it just stays on top of the mix the whole time. So let's see what the raw guitar track sounded like. So first up, I've got an SSL channel for EQ here. So my first step is to set the high pass filter and I have this set pretty high at 180 um, because on a lead guitar track like this when it's mostly on the higher strings or at least on the middle strings and higher strings you don't need any of the low end below that uh, that's just gonna help it that's just gonna make it um, clash with the rhythm guitars and the bass and it's just gonna be kind of rumble that's there so let's check that out So hopefully you can hear how it just takes out all of the subtle rumble that's in there and just really focuses it where we want it. Uh, next we've got a low pass filter at 10k just to get rid of all the, the hiss and noise up top. Alright moving down here adding some brightness at uh, about 7k not a whole not a big boost but we'll check that out. So just adding a little air on top, moving down, boost at 2.5K and boosting a guitar, especially the guitar at 2.5K, it's going to give it a little extra bite and kind of aggression in the mix. So I'll AB that as well. All right, moving down again, we've got another boost at about 1.5K, and that's going to help it uh, give the mid-range cut that we need that's going to sit on top like a vocal and poke through the other guitars. And those 1.5, 2.5K frequencies are what you really want to focus on boosting to to let a lead guitar cut through the mix. So all of these are fairly subtle moves on their own, but let's see what it what it adds up to here. The mid-range boosts uh, even make it sound maybe a little bit too honky or too strong in the mid-range, but in the context of the mix, it works works perfectly. So next, I've got uh, the CL3, CLA-3A compressor, which I use a lot on electric guitars. I use the electric guitar preset here, as you can see. So I'll do an AB here. Just gives it a little squeeze that sounds nice on guitars. It's not so much for dynamic or level control. It just kind of smooths it out, squeezes it a little bit, and uh, gives it a good character. So finally, I've got the L1 limiter, which I actually use quite a bit on lead guitars. And this is just going to take off the, the high, high peaks and just really put it right up in your face and have it not moving away. So it's only doing a, a few dB 
uh, at a time and it's not necessarily uh, working on it constantly but you, hopefully you can hear when I switch it on the guitar is just right up there like right in your face it doesn't move every note uh, just cuts right through there and is right up front I'll do one more AB on that All right, so that's my whole chain. Pretty simple, just some EQ compression and a little bit of, of limiting. Uh, and let's just listen to it one more time. I'll bypass all my plugins and then switch them on halfway through. that's how you can help a lead guitar cut through the mix okay guys hope you like this video leave a comment or like or dislike whatever you feel and check out some more videos at hardcoremixing.com thanks